In this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about the goodness of God. Okay? The scripture says, God isn't willing that any man perish, but that all come to repentance. He doesn't want anybody to die. He wants everybody to repent. But check this out. God used my patience to place me. He used me to place me, okay? With a baby Christian that causes, gets literally angry like that, bipolar. He put me with a Christian like that. And this Christian was growing. He's still growing in Jesus. He used to be a drunker many years ago. He's no longer a drunker. He repented. He came to faith in Jesus. But there are things that he's dealing with in life. And he's growing with Jesus. Okay. So God has a lot of grace for him. He's growing more and more. So uh, from time to time I told him. Man don't cause. Because the Bible says if you cause. Your faith is like useless. Because you're causing. Y your faith has no effect. Because you're causing. You're not brittling your tongue. Okay, so, you know, God placed me with him so that I will be up, so I'll be able to have patience with him. My boss, okay, I don't work there anymore, but my ex boss, my ex boss, he would tell him, hey, if you get angry with me, I'll kick you out. So, what happened is for, for a whole month, my boss placed me with him to, to work together, me and him. And he would mean he would get angry. He would not get angry at me, but he would get angry at like, you know, the drill is not working right, or he missed the screw, and, and he's not, he didn't place this, this metal in the right position. He get angry, and I'll be really patient with him. I'll be like, take it easy, take it, everything's gonna, everything's gonna get different, everything's gonna come to pass, you're gonna be able to finish the work, don't, don't worry about it. And I'll be his helper, okay? And you, you get it easy and be more patient. And today, he has a lot of patience, more patience than before. He doesn't snap like he used to before. So God used me to be a, um, a co-worker with this brother to help him. Because if he would have just stayed with my boss, my boss would have would have kicked him out. My boss is a Christian, but he was like, man, you cause that in front of me, I'll kick you out. I don't want you to be causing. You know, so I had a lot of patience with him. So when everything finished that, I, I don't work there anymore and stuff, I started thinking, man, God, Lord, why do you... Why do you place me with this person? That I mean, this guy was just... He would get really angry. He would throw the drill on the ground. Smashed it. Three times he threw the drill on the ground. Never broke. It's a $200 drill. Never broke. Why? Because God is in control. God knows this man. He knows his limit. His limit is very short. My limit takes time. I have a little bit more patience than that. I deal with people at times that are toxic. And I remain there for a long, longer period of time. Because I have a little bit more patience. Thanks to God. So I was like, Lord God, you know, it was tough dealing with this guy. He was toxic. He, you know, he would get bitter and angry. And all of a sudden, the scripture says that with someone that's a short temper, I shouldn't be with. And God spoke to me. He said, I placed them with you because he needed the money. Or else he would have lost his house. And he was going through a lot of struggle, money issues. And God is, God is very merciful. He's really good. He's incredibly good, okay? I will upload some of this I will up upload some of these videos of experiences that I had with people that they're very forward and arrogant and evil. And God's placed me there with them so that they don't lose their job. Or, or so that they learn. You know, not to be like that. God's gonna use you if you have patience in your life. He will use your patience to deal with people who have no patience at all. That's what he does. He's always putting the world together. You know, so that things work. So everything that happened in your life, it could be a trial. It could be a trial from God. Or it could just be the, the response of someone who doesn't have God. So you have to be patient with people. Because God himself has been patient with us. You see how God works? God is patient with you. So therefore, you must be patient to other people. That's how it is, my friends. It's, it's a difficult thing. But God commands us what? To be faithful. That's our duty. To be faithful. God brings everything to pass at the right time. So I pray this message is a message of wisdom to you if you're watching. You know, grow with God. Grow in, the, grow in the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The scripture says, God loves us so much. He gave himself for us. A ransom for all. To be testified in due time. The just for the unjust. The, 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 the peaceful and the righteous and the perfect and the just. And, and, and the pure for the wicked and the wretched and the miserable and the sinner and, and the unrighteous. You know, us. 
He gave himself for us and he has forgiven us at the cross. If you receive him, you're forgiven. If you receive him not, Sally, you condemn your soul. But when I try to when I try to you get tell you guys, whosoever's watching out there, it might be someone from my channel. When I try to watch it is if you're a child of God, have patience with God. And God's gonna use you for his glory. He bless you. When I come out of that job, I came out a lot wiser. Because I'm able to see a lot of things, man, today. And I'm planning to keep on moving forward with the God, the things that God has for me. You know, like keep on preaching, keep on warning the people, keep, keep being merciful and kind to other people, compassionate, and going more with God. Because I know that God is in control of all things, you know. And everything comes for a reason. So we have to see it like that. Thank you guys for watching. God bless you.